Do you miss the days when you could snack on those delicious Teddy Grahams? Or old enough to remember those chocolate snaps? If you do, I have the perfect recipe for you. All right, let's get started with our dry ingredients. First ingredient we're gonna need is cocoa powder. The next ingredient will be erythritol. And while you can use allulose for this recipe, I find erythritol works best. Next, you'll need almond flour. And for this recipe, it doesn't need to be a fine cut. Followed by salt, then baking powder. Now go ahead and add one half cup cocoa powder into your mixing bowl. Then one cup erythritol. Now you definitely want to sift your almond flour. We're going to go ahead and add two and a half cups. Now sift the almond flour until all the lumps are gone. Now add one half teaspoon salt and one half teaspoon baking powder. We're going to go ahead and get this mixed up. And if you notice right here, you see the chocolate coming up from the base. This will help your mixer not create a dust cloud when you're dealing with things like ultra-fine cocoa powder or your confectioner's sugar. Now go ahead and knock down the edges because we want to make sure this is well incorporated. So we're going to go ahead and mix this one more time to get it nice and mixed just like this. Now for our wet ingredients. We're going to need butter, instant coffee, then we'll need heavy whipping cream, then either vanilla or amaretto extract. Now to prepare your instant coffee, you're gonna go ahead and take one tablespoon warm water and then mix in one teaspoon instant coffee. Now you wanna mix that in until it's well dissolved. Next, you're gonna take your half teaspoon amaretto, in my case, or vanilla if you're using that and mix it into the coffee mixture. With your mixer on low speed, you wanna to begin to start to mix your wet ingredients. You're gonna be mixing in six tablespoons melted butter and go ahead and pour that in slowly and evenly so that it gets well incorporated. Once you've got your butter mixed in, you're gonna go ahead and mix in your heavy whipping cream. Now we're gonna be using four tablespoons heavy whipping cream in this recipe. Now that we've got that heavy whipping cream mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and add our flavoring, our coffee and our flavor. Just go ahead and pour that in and let the mixer do its magic for a couple minutes. Once it's good and mixed, go ahead and lift the mixer head, and here's a little tip I've learned over the years. Don't pull down, push through. If you push through the mixing head, you'll knock everything into the dish and make a lot less of a mess. Then, once you've done that, go ahead and check the sidewalls. You want to go ahead and look them over like this, pulling them down and away, making sure there are no unmixed ingredients. Now take a sheet of parchment paper, and guys, I don't use the roll anymore. I love this parchment paper. This is cat bite parchment paper, and it's really good stuff. Go ahead and take your sheet of parchment paper out. We're going to lay that down. We're going to start spreading out this cookie dough. Now I like to use a cookie scoop for this process, not an ice cream scoop though. And the most successful method I've found doing this is basically to drag the dough across until it's well packed in just like this. Once it's like that, you can go ahead and start laying down your cookie dough. Once you've got a good number of cookie dough balls, you're gonna go ahead and take wax paper, cover up the dough balls, and what I like to do with this is gently press down on it just to hold the wax paper in place. Now there's no need for a rolling pin. I use the base of a glass jar or simply one of the cans out of my cupboard. This will allow you to get a good even press on every single cookie as you see here. This method has worked great for me over the years and as they say if it ain't broke don't fix it. Now once you've got them all pressed out go ahead and remove your paper set it to the side and it's time to get out your cutter. Now this is the teddy bear that you see in the thumbnail but you can use whatever cutter you would like. The reason we want to cut these is you want to get rid of any of that edge. These cookies are a very buttery cookie, so they can burn a lot easier. So you want it to be a good consistent thickness and get rid of that outer edge. Now you can either take the excess dough up with your hands like this, or you can do it the easy way if you have a bread cutter. Go ahead and take the bread cutter and just scoop it right up and dump it right back in your bowl. Notice how I cut these circular ones. They don't come up like the Teddy Graham style cookie did. They actually remain on the parchment paper. Here's a simple solution. Simply slide your dough cutter underneath the cookie and then break the edges away just like this. Then gently push it back onto the parchment paper. In order not to disturb this, you want to go ahead and drag this gently across your cookie sheet onto it like that. Then what I like to do is take a knife 
and trim these edges. You don't want overhanging parchment paper because it will burn very easily. Now with your oven preheated to 325, you're gonna cook them for approximately eight to 10 minutes. Now it's absolutely crucial that when you remove these, you gently remove them onto the counter. You wanna gently slide them off and do not disturb them for at least five minutes. Now the exception to the rule is this. When they're nice and hot, you can go in and cut them with a cookie cutter, but don't try no intricate designs like the teddy bears. And the coolest thing about cutting them hot is you get this once they cool down. You can simply break the edges right off of this and you have a perfect cookie right here. Now with these crumbs, don't let them go to waste. They're awesome over ice cream or in some heavy whipping cream. Believe it or not, what I cooked up was only about a third of this dough, and it's very stable in the refrigerator to pull out when you need it for the next time. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and smash that subscribe, click that like, share this video because it helps me a ton. And as always, thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.